In the recently concluded local government elections, Jamaica has had a record low voter turnout. With general elections around the corner, we're taking it to the streets to find out what would encourage more people to vote. What's your name, sir? Smokey Lemon. So tell us, Smokey, how can the government encourage more people to vote? Well, you see the tree grand and the KBC where them used to give out. That not cut it again, you know. Right, you know, my one tree mill and one house on the hill. In other words, you're tired of the small incentive to vote. Yeah, man, my want to live the soft life too, you know. Look where hard life do me. My eel back them so rough them could a great a coconut. My hand them rough like Spanish town handcuff. About four teeth me having on my mouth and me not have no money. And when you look on man these days, you have to have money otherwise she go tell you say, she not want a broke man or she not want a mean man. Okay, so did you vote in the last election? Me a 47 year old, you know. I me never yet vote in Jamaica. Princess Moan tell you say, me serve seven years in a prison in England and I'm not afraid to go back. Is it that you love the prison life? Them call me jailbird for a reason, you know. So when are you planning to fly back to jail? No, no, no. I know miss prison. But my miss England. But right now me have one spooky in America named Sheila. Sheila, if you all watch this herb and file for me, election a come. What about you, sugar loaf? How can the government encourage more people to vote? You see the three hundred percent pay increase compared to our three percent increase? That care about. They ride in a Benz while some people have to jump fence. They eat oxtail, but most people can even afford a cow tail. They can buy Louis V while we have Crocus Bug. So you would vote if the government could give you a better standard of living. I recently learned to this phrase that sums up my decision not to vote. Cockroach, no business in a foul fight. To be clear, I'm not comparing myself to a cockroach because I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God, but I'm saying that I refuse to accept crumbs from my leaders like a cockroach. You are demanding more to be done by your leaders. Of course, the good book says to whom much is given, much is required. Our leaders have been given much, we have demanded little of them, and therefore they have given us little. Impressed with the nice talk, you know, want to be prime minister of my life? Bring the camera closer. Sheila, if you're watching this, before the next election, please vote this man out of your life. I thank you. <laughs>